All right, so up until now, we've looked at finding the area under a curve to the left. We've looked at finding the area under the curve to the right. And now we're gonna look at what do you do if you have to find the area in between. So let's look at our first example. So to illustrate what's going on, What I want to do is I want to find the area between 0.59, which is approximately here, and 1.51, which is approximately here. So I have in this spot 0.59, and in this spot I have 1.51. So I need to find this area. How am I going to do that? Okay, There's no way to use the table in one step to be able to find this area. So I have to use it in two steps. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to look up 0.59 and get the probability. Second, I'm going to look up 1.51, get the probability. And then I'm going to do a little arithmetic. Okay, so 0 0.59. 0 0.5, I have to go over to the column where 9 is in the hunter spot. So my z score point. 0.59 gives me a probability, I'm going to write it this way, the probability of 0.59 is 0.7224. Now I'm going to look up the 1.51, so I go to 1.5 over to column where the 0, 1 is. That number is 0.9345, I think it was. This is my probability. 1.51. So, what arithmetic am I going to use? I'm going to use subtraction. Okay? Because if I found the area of all this big part to the left of 1.51, and I found this area to the left of 0.599, or 0.59, then when I take the difference between the two, I'm going to find the area of just the middle. So, I'm going to take the bigger, 0 0.9, 3, 4, 5, minus 0.7224. And that gives me, calculator, 0 0.9345 minus 0.7224 is 0.212. So, in other words, I could say that the probability that a value lies between these two deviations .59 and 1.51 is .212. Or, Another way of saying it is that the area between these two z-scores is 21.2%. So it's really not a difficult concept. It's really quite easy. You just have to remember how you go about doing it, or how you go about doing it. So um, let me do another example. This time we'll do it with a negative. Okay, so we'll do part B. 
So in part B, I'm going to have to use both tables. I have to use the negative part of the table, and I have to use the positive part of the table. So I'm going to look up negative 2.18. I'm going to get something. And I'm going to look up 1.44. I'm going to get something. Since I have the positive table up already, I'm going to look up the 1.44. So I'm going to go over to the column where 0 0.04 is along this row, and I get 0 0.9251. Let me switch over to the negative one. Okay. And the negative one, I'm going to look up negative 2.18. Here's negative 2.1. I'm going to read across until I get to the column of 08, and I get this value. 0.01. Or six. To find the area in between, I'm going to take the larger, subtract the smaller, and I get point nine. The interpretation of this is that the probability of having a, a score or a z-score between negative 2.18 and 1.44 is 0.911. The area of the curve that makes up is 91.1%. So if we actually looked at what that looks like, it should all make sense that 91% of my curve falls between those values. So negative 2.18 is probably about there. 1.44 is probably about there. There's my 91.14%, 91.1% that lies between. Okay? So once you get the hang of reading the tables, finding the probability within the table, it's just a matter of am I looking to the left? Am I looking to the right? Am I looking in between? What am I going to do to figure out the answer, okay? Always keep in mind the picture of the standard curve. Because if you realize what the standard curve looks like, you should have a feeling for what kind of answer you should be getting. All right, the last thing that I have to do is go over a little bit of notation. Um, some of the worksheets that I've got um, for you to work on contain different kinds of notation. So I want to go over that. Um, there's a worksheet that says Statistics Chapter 6 Normal Curve Worksheet, and you'll see um, problems that are worded to the left of Z equals negative 1.43, okay? This is the same thing as finding that probability in area under the standard normal curve, okay? So I just want you to be clear on that. All of it is doing the same thing. <coughs> Towards the middle of that page, you might see a problem, you will see a problem, that looks like this. Okay, so what do you think this means? Z is in between. So I'm looking for the probability 
that a z-score is between 0 and 0.67. So that's just like the last lesson we had on finding the area in between two different z-scores. Again, with this type of problem, you look up 0 in the table, you look up 0.67 in the table, you subtract the smaller probability from the larger probability, and that's how you get your answer. Um, so, just the notation again. In problem 12, it looks like this. Okay? My z-score bigger than this. So, I want to figure out the probability of that. My um, inequality symbol is pointing to the right. So I'm going to find the probability to the right of this z-score. Okay. Remember when you're finding the probability to the right, you look up the opposite. So in this case, I would look up negative 2.83. And similarly, you have the probability that z is less than a negative 1.51, less than the inequality is pointing to the left. Okay, I'll use my z table exactly as it, it was meant to be used. I'm going to look up negative 0.51 and just read off the probability. And we won't worry about the problems at the bottom of this page for right now because that's working back backwards and I'll go into that when